this we are going we are continuing the previous video where we have seen the insertion or insertion in w linked list where we can insert a node as a first node as a last node or in the middle given the location now we are going to see the deletion operation of the w linked list here uh, we call this function deletion begin so that the first node has to be deleted so accordingly we have to manipulate we have to write coding in our program first we check whether the uh, node is uh, whether the doubly linked list is having any node or not or empty so that we are doing checking by this is empty by executing this function then we check whether that is the only one node in which case we have to make both head and null to be head and tail to be null because after uh, removal of the only one node again the no uh, doubly linked list becomes empty so you have to modify accordingly and then we remove that uh, node uh, only one node else uh, we are uh, we are assigning that to the the head node the first node and then uh, head, head pointer we are moving to the point to the next node and then we make a pointer manipulations accordingly and then we delete the first node then if it is an end then we have to uh, whether here again we check whether it is only one node then do the manipulations accordingly and delete that particular node else we move to the we make the temporary pointer to point to the tail node and then we we are going to remove the tail so then we make the, the tail to be the previous node so that we are doing it by this point manipulation deletion in the middle so now we give the data now it checks starting from the we are using a temporary node we go through from the first node till last node and then we check whether it is equal to data or not till that till it is not becoming equal to the tail date there is this value uh, we keep moving the temporary pointer so when it has been reached then we do manipulations if uh, in that case if it is a first node that is a first node then we do the pointer manipulation accordingly or if it is in between then we do the manipulations accordingly and finally we uh, we identify the node which we are going to find and then we remove here uh, we do the pointer manipulations accordingly so that after removal of a middle node then the previous node of that and the next node of this temporary node again they follow the continuation so they the, con the continuity will not lose after removal so for that we have to do the pointer manipulations accordingly that we are doing it here then traverse this is used for forward traversal so starting from the head till the end we print the value so for that we use the temporary pointer reverse here we use the uh, here we in the uh, traveling is from head to tail here from tail to head so uh, we assign the temporary tail no tail pointer to temporary and using that we move uh, previous to the previous node by by this statement so and then we print the value so here search search is used to find a particular data is whether uh, data is there or not so here we pass the data and then uh, using a temporary pointer we move from one node to another node so we keep a count so that we would like to know in which node that data is there so for that we keep the count then till it reaches the end of the node then we check whether it is equal to l if yes then return the count l, uh, or else you, you you move temporary pointer will be moved to the next next location and then we keep the uh, increase the count because we have read one uh, one node and we are not able to match and so on then update here given the old data new data again we search the whole node by making the temporary pointer and then we till the end of the node is reached we check each and every data information field whether it is equal to old if so then we replace it with the new data finally we and if this is successful we return a one else when it goes through the whole thing and it is not successful that the particular old data is not there then we return a zero then destroy here just by uh, we are going to remove the, uh, we are going to uh, remove or uh, delete each and every node. So for that we are going to move head node itself and then uh, temp is made to point then and there the head, uh, head node. So, and then we remove the particular node by executing this delete statement. So this is the main program where we have the uh, fun, uh, we have the menu where we are going to carry over the different functions. So now we'll see how this program exudes. <coughs> yeah. 
yes now i am going to add a data insert so let me add three again uh, insert begin so let me add 20 now if you print the value you can see it is this first we have inserted in now after insertion since i have given insert begin before this this is inserted now i want to insert at the end let me say 50 now i give print again see the 50 is added now i want to insert in the middle so let me give 25 enter the value 25 it now it lasts for the location now i want to insert here so this is 0 1 means so 2 the position second position i want to insert let me give 2 and we'll see how it has been inserted okay this is 1 and 2 it takes because we uh, we take it as an exact position so 1 2 so now 25 is inserted at the position 2 then now we want to delete first let me give the delete first now check See here, the first data has been removed. Now I am going to delete last 7. Now you can see the last value is deleted. And you can say delete middle 8. Uh, suppose I want to give 25. Now I print again. See that also has gone. Now let me add some more data. At the end, and the middle, let me set it to location. Now we will see. So, this is the, uh, if you see, it is not in an order. Okay. After 90, 35 is the, which is smaller, but after that, bigger value is there. So, it is not added. That is what this program in this W link list, however, the data comes, how you want to add, whether begin or end or middle, you can add. So, now this is an unordered W link list. Now, I want to, uh, already I have executed 9, it says the print from the forward direction. Now, we will see how it prints in the reverse direction. See, it has printed in the reverse direction. Then I want to search for an element. Let me give 56. Now see here it gives it is at the position 3. This is in reverse. So it, this is 1, 2, 3. So it is present in the third position. Then update. Suppose I want to update that uh, 56. 56 to 50. Now after that I execute, see here, 1, 2, 3, third position was there, previously 56, that has been modified to 50. Now I want to destroy the whole list. Now after this, I want to print means, let me see what it is. See, it is printing nothing. Now let me check whether it is, is empty. Yes, it is empty. So now we will go, I will exit the program.